For those who would like to be able to play DSD high-res files on their Mac without any special hardware, I'm going to demonstrate how it's done using pure music. I'm running the latest Mavericks OS and the latest version of iTunes, which is 11.1.4 as of this week. From the pure music menu, you choose Add FLAC or DSD, or you can just hit Command F on the keyboard. I like to keep my high-res downloads organized in my music folder, but you can put them wherever you want. If you later move them, iTunes won't know where to find them and you'll need to relink all the files that were moved. You'll notice that Pure Music gives you a warning about two important iTunes preferences, Keep iTunes Media Folder Organized and Copy Files to iTunes Media Folder. That second preference is crucial and that's the way I normally run iTunes anyway. However, I do like to keep my media organized. I've ignored that warning and found that Pure Music will still handle the DSD and FLAC files without a problem. So I'm navigating now to an album I just bought from Acoustic Sounds. I select everything and drag the contents of the folder into the Pure Music window. The extension for the DSD files, you'll note, is DSF. Go figure. For a short time, not much happens, which had me worried the first time I tried this, but it's okay. Pure Music is doing some heavy-duty processing. Looking over at the Max Activity Monitor, you'll see that it's grabbing all the processor cores to do its thing. I can even hear my MacBook Pro's fans kicking in now, which is very unusual. Some heavy number crunching is happening. Happily, you only need to do this once per album. Pure Music creates proxy files that trick iTunes into thinking the DSD files are normal Apple lossless. We'll just cut to the chase and move forward to when all the files are done. In total, it took exactly 2 minutes and 6 seconds to process all 24 files. As soon as Pure Music finishes the process, it loads the DSD tracks into iTunes. Immediately, you can play them just like any other iTunes files. I'm using the memory play feature in Pure Music, and you can see that with my laptop's SSD drive, the huge files load into RAM in a blink. There's no delay, and the iTunes controls remain very responsive. Now I'm going to edit the metadata because I don't like how the files were named by Acoustic Sounds. I'm taking out the extra space in the artist name and adding DSD in brackets in the album name in order to distinguish the DSD album from any other versions of the album I own. I see I already have an old CD rip of this album, a DCC gold disc. If you don't name the albums differently, iTunes will organize all the songs into one album, which can be annoying if you want to pick which album to play. Putting the distinguishing part of the name in brackets fixes that issue, and it doesn't interfere with iTunes' ability to automatically apply album artwork based on the album name. By the way, you can see in the activity monitor that Pure Music is taking over the playback. I've sorted by CPU usage, and iTunes is barely using any CPU at all. Pure Music is doing a very sophisticated DSD conversion, but it's using only a very small chunk of computer power compared to what was used creating the proxy files in the first place. One note, by default, Pure Music disables the ability to manually move the progress bar forward while the music is playing, as you can see. However, you can change that preference if you want. In any case, if you stop playback, you can manually advance the song. You can play it with the iTunes play button or by hitting the space bar to toggle play and stop. Pure Music is very responsive doing this. You barely know you're playing a huge high-res file. So if you're worried that DSD is somehow not ready for prime time, it's just not true. Improvements to future versions of Pure Music or DSD playback in the newest DAX might make it even easier in the future but it's pretty damn simple now. In my heart, it will remain.